high-functioning avoidant personality disorder, <clears throat> you probably have persistent extreme anxiety and panic when you're trying to start or maintain relationships or employment or whenever you're trying to do something new in a public setting or not so new, you know, varying degrees of what you can consider new, <clears throat> especially if you're just talking to someone or if you're trying to make eye contact. Um, and you tend towards calm and slow interactions with familiar people. So if you do have a job, you might want something that, that is easy from that perspective, like not having to talk to a whole bunch of new people, or if you do, it's brief conversations and generally a calm setting, not the sort of people that are gonna get super pissed off at you. <clears throat> and people with high functioning avoidant personality disorder tend to make some progress as they acclimate. They always have these issues. It doesn't go away, but they can sort of accept that they don't need to feel this anxiety. It's not based on anything in reality. And it makes it easier to just at least keep doing what they're doing. Then there's low functioning avoidant personality disorder, which is me. Uh, so if you if you try to go out and do stuff and acclimate yourself rather than make progress, uh, people with low functioning avoidant personality disorder tend to just reinforce their anxieties and panics because you know they do the same thing where they take criticism really hard that high functioning people do, uh, and they take people's uh, you know, body language and whatever to, uh, assume that they're judging them. 